Hey guys, welcome back to PK Plays Subnautica with my wife Bun Bun Bree. Uh, on the last episode, we got a lot of crazy stuff done, found out about a new survivor, uh, and we got some logs we got to look at. So let's do that. Uh, let me switch to this and let's jump back into it. So let's check our logs here. For the last time, I'm not cheating. Then what's your theory? What's going on? If you ask me, Zeta's been blinking a lot. I think it's a tell. He does have a point there. It's allergies. <laughs> allergies? Oh, is something in bloom on this frozen planet? Thermal lilies. And if you gang up on me, I swear you're all fired. <laughs> you're not even my boss. Oh, you're all so gullible. You're fighting each other. Meanwhile, look at Parvin. <laughs> just look at him. What am I doing? I'm not doing anything. Let's just take this to a point. All those who think Zeta's allergies are a bad case of alienitis, say intruder. Intruder. Uh, intruder. Intruder. Nanny? Oh, I'm just an observer here. I'm going to use my pass. Is there some kind of scientist conspiracy going on here? Zeta, Sam, Danielle, you three are suddenly very aligned. Or, like I said, Parvin is cheating. I'm starting to wish I was cheating. Hmm. There's a whole team of people here. Jenny, you wouldn't believe the adventure I'm having. It's just like when we were kids and we used to play underwater city. Only sea monsters aren't pretend, and I don't need to hide behind you when one swims by. Because I'm safe in my sea truck. Safe and very, very brave. Please tell Dad for me. Thanks so much for the mustache, kid. By the way, to be honest, I wasn't sure if it was a gag gift at first. Personal grooming is something of a challenge here, and as you know, I'm a pretty low maintenance guy to begin with, but you'd be surprised how handy mustache wax is in an emergency. There have been some close scrapes. For a while there, someone was sabotaging my truck and I thought I was seeing things. But my friend Sam helped me sort it out. Although, she's had some troubles of her own lately. To be honest, I get a little worried out here sometimes. But I guess that's normal, under the circumstances. Gotta expect a little risk, right? I should be happy. I have great friends and a good paycheck. Anyway, love you, Jenny, and Dad. Please find a way to tell him that he won't find embarrassing. And don't worry, I'm looking for the perfect fish to bring back as a gift. Your favorite! <laughs> Communications tower maintenance lock. Another day, another slight by the winged furies. As usual, I got an interference alert. As usual, I went out to see what the problem was. As usual, it was frozen stalagmites of feathered bird excrement. I fear the career impact of saying this officially. If you can even call what I have a career. But I could swear they're targeting me personally. Okay, so this is just him being upset about the birds pooping on their equipment. Some of these can be a little bit just like... Yeah, he's saying that the tower is running and working, so... What else we got? Magic. Where the standard fabricator atom atomically rearranges raw materials to form complex devices, the mod station is able to combine complex devices to enhance their function. This was one of the things we had on the first game where you could put certain things in and like do some cool stuff with that. So that's cool. Hopefully we'll be able to do some stuff with that soon. Um, put that away. I need to look at these. Got some new blueprints. Thermo blade we can now make, which mm -hmm. we definitely should we do, can that. do that. Yeah. Um, we got some random equipment here just for like there's a there's a base building element to this game just like in Minecraft where you can kind of like build like houses and stuff like that. But we want to definitely try to get the sea truck. We need two more pieces, so we definitely want to try and go back where we found that first piece and see if we can find some more fragments. Because I want one of those so bad. I want to be swimming around a free chunk. And then we got these posters we can go put in our spot. We probably need to make another um, another chest so we can start storing some of the stuff. I'm going to go ahead and eat one of these. You should I'm probably put your water. beacon down here again. Like, just put it back. Mm, yeah, you're probably right. That way you could find it just in case. Um, where's beacon? This one? Yes. Uh, let's put it right there. And then... Stick it right there. And let's edit that. 
Oh, oh it's already. Yeah, yeah. Sweet. Okay. So at least we'll know where that's at. We don't want to take that. And then we need to fix back up my knife. Put that back down here. Hey. Down there. There. Yeah. Uh, we're probably going to need to change back battery on that thing soon. Oh, what is this? I think that's a base builder tool. Builder fragment. Yep. yep. Yes. Oh, we got this over here. New blueprint synthesized. <gasps> Solar panel blueprint. Let's take a look at that. Bioreactor. Oh, the, all those blueprints were in that. Oh, nice. Battery charger. Excellent. Can we go in here and it'll be a little bit not so cold, maybe? Yeah, definitely. Let's close this up. Set up. Must belong to one of those higher uppers. Man, we're finding like everything. Manuals oh, bed. That's the guy. This was the trans government senior official. Yeah. Good morning, Frostpack. Just a quick update to inform you of some key achievements and priority shifts we need you all to get behind. The Spy Pangling project was a resounding success. Please join me in congratulating Samantha IU, who is now reassigned to Outpost Zero helping us dream of future initiatives. Congratulations are also in order for Danielle Valenti and her team at Omega Lab. The closing of Phi Robotics means important funds can be redirected to their Kara bacteria study, which has important, positive implications for the life sciences. You're all doing an exceptional job, and I don't want to promise anything, but HQ has been taking notice. Keep up the good work. I think we can start discussing bonuses soon. Huh. So he's your traditional, like, r r Redditor mod over here telling everybody how to live, and then when things go wrong, lie about it at the end. Yeah. He's like, HQ's really taking notes. Notes. I know she had it in her. Nameplate. Desk. In her right. Oh, you just click it now. Executive toy. New blueprint Oop. synthesized. Planter, so we can actually like plant stuff inside of a base. A chic planting pot. Aquarium. <laughs> That's gonna be awesome. So we can start keeping fish New with us. So we can start breeding um, the 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 water fish, the bladder fish. New blueprint synthesized. Is this door already been? Okay. Oh wait, there's a oh. whole section I didn't go to. An observatory. This takes 20 years to scan. Yeah, it does. Good uh, thing you're not getting chased by anything. Let's see if I can get in there. Yeah. PDA. David, you'll be happy to know the frost pack is making excellent progress. I must say, my management style appears to be uniquely well suited to isolated snow planets. New I'm blueprint synthesized. But I wonder if you feel it too. As great as we are together, we're almost better apart. Just look at how well Prosperina did in her last show. I'm sorry I couldn't be there to see it, but I'm sure if I'd been around, I'd only have made her nervous. Once this mission is over, I'll come home for a few good months, and then. What do you think if we look at reorganizing our expectations to facilitate longer-term separation success? I really think this could be a great model for us going forward, romantically and otherwise. Don't forget, I love you from the depths of my heart. Keep on succeeding in your projects. You know there's nothing I find more attractive. So she was dating a manual then, maybe? Um, uh, kind of, I almost forgot completely that we could, um, listen to the audio logs while moving instead of just sitting there and staring at them, so that's my bad. Because we could have been doing a lot more stuff while listening to the... So this is the t communication tower, apparently. And that's the bird. These are like crazy birds. I want to see if we can get a scan on one of them, but, uh, ooh, definitely want that PDA. Tower maintenance log. Okay, this time the birds have really done it. I don't know what they've been eating, but it's corrosive when it comes out the other end. I'm gonna need to rewire. 
I'm short an element to fabricate the right cable. I remember seeing some when I did that dive to the old ship. I'm gonna go out there and see if I can get some more. That picture is important. There's a ship that's in the water out there. Progress. Okay, cool. That's good to know. Getting a little cold here. Well, you have to. You already clicked it, so you gotta read it. Yep. Let me get back to the, that plant over there. Warm yourself up. All right. You get slowed down when you're cold, also. Enter test mode, huh? Let's go up here. Oh, PDA. Override module port. There's a thing on the ground right there. New employee trainers recommend that all trainees be complete, uh, be training be completed while towers in test mode. Test mode is fully functional, simulated version of live mode. While in test mode, all communications from the tower, including distress signals, security alerts, and spy transmissions will be disabled. To initiate test mode, insert the test override module into the diagnostic port as depicted in the diagram to the left. The activate test mode command will be entered via the terminal once the test override module has been inserted. While in test mode, all communication from the tower will be disabled. So... We don't want to have test mode on them, right? Because then it's going to disable the distress signal. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah. I'm going to go sit over here and get some heat real quick. Let's read that one thing. This is that dude. What the heck, dude? My wrist is starting to really hurt. Even though I got my thing on. Two active human life forms detected, unauthorized habitat, construction, and vehicular activity detected. Recommendation, observe and prepare for possible intervention. So, what about this one? Habitat installations. Oh, that's just that. Yeah, nothing else, I guess, there. So there's vehicles, so somebody's been using a vehicle, and we probably know who that is, the person we just ran into a second ago. So that's kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. so we got nothing yeah, it else. doesn't even give you the option for it. I don't know if there's anything else. What the heck? I don't know if there's anything else here that we need to check out. wrist is actually starting to really, really hurt for some reason. I've only been playing for like an hour. Yeah. Oh, dude, falling damage is stupid when it's that, like when you're falling like two feet and you're breaking your legs apparently. Oh, I may have been able to get a scan on him, maybe not. Come on, boys. No. Where's my heat plants? Yeah. See, I just fell off like what a tiniest little thing I've yeah, ever seen in my life. Nothing else I need to look at, I think. I think I've pretty much gotten all that stuff, but we got 13 minutes in already, huh? We still have not really done a whole lot. Well, we've checked out that whole area, explored. This was the Delta Station. Mm -hmm. So we've gotten a couple more objectives here that we need to probably get done. Ugh. I was stuck. I was like, are you going to go for it? No, I was like stuck. I couldn't move. Okay, well, I think that's it for here. We can always come back if we feel like we missed something or if, you know, yeah. if I want to come back and check stuff out. But yeah. the terrain, I think that might be because it's on early access. I am getting clipping into stuff really easily. They didn't put a whole lot of work into the... Uh, what do you call it? The um, they need to fix that because that is ridiculous. Like I jumped like from right there to right there, and apparently that is like damaging you. They don't want you to skip places. That would probably kill you. That will straight up kill me. Let's. Uh, I'm already running apparently. 
Let's get out of here. I'm done with this place. Hello, sir. What is this? What is that? Will that serve me? Uh. Maybe not. Alright, well. I am horrified to go back in this water, but we have to do it. So. There's a salt. There's a what? A salt deposit? That's a quartz. Oh, quartz. This one, man. Okay. Was that a different sound? That was that was something a little bit. Oh whoa, that thing just exploded. Let's see if we can get a scan on it. Whoa. A fumaro, fumaro. Whatever that is sounds big. Is that it right there? Is that one of those crocodiles? I can't even tell. Yeah, it is. It is. What if I go up and knife him a little bit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's down that way somewhere. Yeah, you're probably gonna need a vehicle to get down there. Yeah, I would say so. Now that we have the sea truck stuff, let's try to make that, or let's like try. To, that should be our next goal: is to try and get the uh, sea truck, sea truck fragment. Let's get this scanned real quick. Get and then get some bit. air. Oh. That's uh, the explosion from those sulfur oh. mine things. These are like exploding around us. Lithium. Lithium is really good. Are they fighting each other over there? He ate somebody. Look at that. Where? Oh. oh! You know what? Bring it on, dude. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Oh, he's a big baby. Try again, son. I don't think so. You should <clears> probably <throat> heal, though. Yeah, I need to get out of here. Was that some more lithium? No, it's quartz. But I could use quartz. Well, let's drop off. That looks like something I want to check out. Oh, it's night time. Can we check this out? I don't know. Yeah, I think we did. Oh. Oh. Cylindrical a flask. flask. I don't want that. Nothing else over here. The lights. Oh yes. I was about to say the lights. We can totally scan. use those underwater. Yeah. Cause all this stuff uses like thermal technology. Oh yeah. Definitely want to take this PDA. Cargo rocket sea truck dock. This was the dock for the sea truck, which means there what should is be. That out that way. Oh, that's the thermal thing. All right. Let's uh, hop in here. So this is where their sea truck dock was at, which means we should have some pieces of sea truck around here somewhere we can look at. Like this? No. Titanium. This is freaking me. Advised. There's a lot of good stuff in there, but they're saying it's probably dangerous. Go in there. What is that? A featherfish? Bright white uh, surface of the water, nothing special. It'll do like a little thing at the very bottom if it's important. I'm hoping to find more sea truck stuff, but. I'm having no luck on the sea truck pieces. Mm -hmm. And 
getting too close to these guys, which is bothering me. I'm a little worried about going too deep down here. Creature egg. <gasps> that looks like that one fish. I think these caves are gonna be where we we're gonna find what we need to find here. Cause see where this is at. This is like right here, which I mean, I feel like if it was gonna have, a, if it was gonna break, it would fall right in that little hole. Yeah, probably. So let's go down there. We have our air bladder. If we need to get up, we need to take, drink some water. Vital signs stabilizing. And let's not eat a nutrition block yet. Let's heal though. Let's save. I'm a little freaked out to go too far down because these caves can be really. Oh, dude, there's just creature eggs all over the place. I don't want to get stuck down here and then not be able to get it back up. Or that possibly kill me. Yeah. I don't think he can go down again. Oh, crap. There's my sea blood in there. I'm not going to really use it. Because it's going to... If you use that, it just goes straight up. And if you're not... I think I can do it from here to get up. It's okay. You may as well just... Yeah. Oxygen. Let's well, actually uh, probably gonna have to end the episode here because, man, it is dark. It's gorgeous though. Yeah, look at that. That's a really nice thing to end on. So um, let's do a pause here. We'll do a save. Switch to our main cam here. All right, guys, that is episode five of Subnautica Below Zero. We've making incremental progress. I'm hoping not to make too many episodes. So if it seems like we're kind of making too small of progress, I might cut the episode down. Oh my gosh, sorry. Uh, yeah, there's some cool stuff on there. We learned some things. We got to look through our PDA and find some more information. We really want to get that sea truck. I think the sea truck episode is going to be real fun. So, uh, yeah, I think that's going to do it for today. And we're probably going to head to bed because it's pretty late. We've been working all day on this stuff. And uh, hopefully these episodes look okay and play okay. And if there's any issues, we'll figure them out after these. So... <laughs> Hi. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.